Hello and welcome to The Print. This is Akanksha Mishra and you're watching Scientifics where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Our first story today is about how running is beneficial not only for physical health but also for mental health according to a new study by Irish researchers. They found that voluntary running can help balance out the mood damaging effects of a high fat and high sugar diet by conducting experiments on rats. So the study was meant to understand how our guts, our hormones and our brain activity are all connected. So they started by feeding rats unhealthy rich foods and noticed that these foods disrupted certain mood regulating hormones like anserine and deoxynosine. So this led to feelings of anxiety and depression like feelings in these rats. But then when the rats started exercising by running, these feelings reduced a little. Exercise was found to rebalance some of these mood regulating hormones and also balance insulin and other compounds in the body that regulate weight and other bodily aspects. This shows that physical activity can counterbalance unhealthy eating in more ways than one in your body. Next up, scientists at the University of York have discovered that dark matter may not be as invisible as we thought. Dark matter is this mysterious substance that makes up about 25% of our universe, but until now, scientists believe that it's invisible, it has mass, but it does not interact with regular matter and passes right through it. Yet we know about dark matter because we know that it has a gravitational pull and it's the reason that galaxies stay in their spots. Now, a new study from the University of York says that this dark matter could slightly change the color of the light that passes through it and it leaves behind a faint red or blue fingerprint. If this is true, this would completely change how we search for the universe's missing mass in dark matter. Until now, we haven't even looked for dark matter on telescopes because it was believed to be invisible. The new research proposes that dark matter influences light indirectly through a chain of interactions with other particles such as the Higgs boson particle or a top quark. If these red and blue color traces actually exist, next generation telescopes might be able to spot dark matter and give us the first direct clues about its true nature. Next up, a new study by psychologists in the University of New South Wales in Sydney has tried to investigate why some people with schizophrenia feel like they are hearing voices in their head and they might be close to an answer. The voices are actually the person talking to themselves in their head except their brain is unable to recognize it. So the study says that normally when someone talks to themselves either out loud or in their head, their brain is able to predict and recognize the sound of their own voice. It also automatically reduces the volume of other voices from nearby so that you can hear yourself better. This is often why when you're thinking out loud in your head, you tend to zone out from the conversations with other people. But in patients with schizophrenia, the brain has difficulty recognizing the person's own voice. So when someone's internal voice is talking, the brain categorizes it as just another outside voice and it thinks, oh, someone else is speaking. The researchers were able to figure this out by using EEG scans of the brains of people with schizophrenia. It confirmed a long-standing theory that these voices were just their own voices that were misrepresented by the brain. It also helped researchers understand these biological markers of schizophrenic activity which can help them develop targeted treatments. Finally, a really interesting study from Columbia University. But first, did you know that scientists have for years been proposing to reflect the sun's rays away from the earth in a bit to cool the earth's temperatures? Yes, the concept is known as stratospheric aerosol injection and it involves spraying tiny particles into the atmosphere that are reflective in nature. So these particles would then reflect the solar rays back to space and cool down our planet. It sounds crazy? Well, it has been modelled before by climate scientists as a potential solution for global warming, 
although never done in real life. But if you think that it sounds too good to be true, then you are right because the new study by Columbia University says that this concept would be really difficult to carry out. For starters, the kinds of aerosols injected into the stratosphere and where they are injected would end up impacting a lot of very critical atmospheric processes. For example, global jet streams which carry our flights. Also, these particles would affect our weather, our rainfall and consequently our agriculture and economy. And these are just the predictable consequences of such an action. In conclusion, this quick fix to global warming, like most other quick fixes, is unlikely to work out. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into The Print.